Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today, different perspective, I'm in the car, I have found a random spot that would actually be also a very nice camping spot to be honest. Today is Saturday, I was again at a swimming spot, actually I was at the same spot that you saw in last week's video on Sunday and now I want to give you a recap of my week and this week has left me very, very happy and sad at the same time. Why is that? Well, I got a visit from Germany. A friend of mine was here on Thursday. But before I talk about this, like I already started on Thursday, let's, let's start about Monday, Tuesday. So at work now, basically everything is back to normal. All the people that were still not working last week are now back and of course the work is getting more and more but it's nothing too crazy where I like think right now that I have to tell you about it so far. Then on Wednesday after work I was thinking like I want to get surf streaming because one of my friends told me he found surf streaming in like the smallest supermarket grocery store in his village. So I was thinking like, okay, if they have it in this small thing, then they will definitely have it in the biggest store in town. I was there, nothing. And that was Wednesday after work. So I was kind of like, oh, I, I want to have a few cans for friends and family, but also because I want to have the filet and not like the real whole fish and you just have to pick it out yourself even though there is also a proper way of doing that. That is the surf trimming story. So unfortunately, no luck. Then Wednesday evening, I was talking online with friends of mine. It also went late in the night, like at 11 p.m. We were finished and I was going to bed. And as always, I wake up or I stand up at 6 a.m. in the morning. So not too much sleep. And first day, my friend was coming. I managed to work from home that day because I knew I still had to do so much of cleaning and I just wanted to have my apartment as clean as possible without losing this feeling of someone is living there. But I still have so much boxes from my trip from Germany to Sweden that I just didn't have the time to put it away because my mindset is like, it is bright outside right now. We are still in summer. I want to do things on the weekend. I don't want to take my time to go through all the boxes. When winter is here, it's pitch black the whole day. So I can use the whole day to do that. So that's why I now I'll put it all away under the roofs. And I think that is a good thing. But yeah, okay, so I cleaned everything. And then at, I think like close to 1 p.m., my friend came and also her mother and also the dog. And they were like in a camper van. The friend I'm talking about, I actually don't really know her that long and it's a crazy thing that she is the first person visiting me in Sweden. I know her for maybe like two years, maybe even less and I know her from my Swedish course in Germany and this crazy thing there is we never really talked at all like she was always sitting in the first row, I was always like sitting in one of the last rows in the course and then at the end I think like at one of the last weeks in the third semester of the Swedish course, we were exchanging numbers. And I remember there was one time when I was in Germany, also very close to making a decision what, I got, what I'm going to do with my life. So moving to Sweden or whatsoever. And I really felt that she is a person that would understand. She has this vibe of being very, very open-hearted. And I just took the wrist, sent her a message where I basically said like, hey, I know this is super weird. We've never met each other, but do you have like time and just can listen to my problems basically. And then I talked and in my opinion, it was great. And time has passed. I moved to Sweden two or three times. I think we were like Skyping when I was in the first two months. And I really felt like, okay, this is going to be a great friendship like I really felt comfortable and then after I started my job here in Övik the connection basically disappeared because she was not responding and I was like oh what is going on did I do something wrong out of pure luck I was like randomly thinking okay maybe I just try to call her and then she called me back a few minutes later and then 
She told me about like the whole thing that was going on in her life. There was a lot of stuff and then she texted me and said like, hey, yeah, I'm going to Sweden. Yeah, and we can hang out if you want to. And I'm like with family and, and I was like, yeah, sure, you can visit me. I will be here. And that was first day. So they came. I was still kind of nervous because I don't know her family and it was super chill. And we were just basically talking the whole day, like really the whole day. There was one time where we said like, okay, like I was thinking, okay, we're going to do something. I was planning on going to a lake, but the weather was not the best. So we decided to go to the highest viewing point in Unschutzweg, where you have like the ski jumping things like on top there. And that was the thing we have done. Then we went into a grocery store, got some food for dinner. But yeah, it was a really, really great time. They stayed the night in the camper in front of the house and Friday morning we were talking. And when they left, I really felt this feeling of loneliness. I cannot describe the feeling that I am still kind of going through. This feeling of you have just had a really, really awesome day. And now the people that were the reason for that they disappeared. Like I really think I have to convince friends of mine to move to Sweden. It makes me sad that I am sad because I should be happy that they were here and it was a great time. And But that, that is like the current situation. And also yesterday, so on Friday for me, when I was at work, I basically left home like it ended up on the evening on first day. So a lot of um, dirty dishes and other things. And on Friday I was planning and it also happened to go to a sauna and to go to the to the sea to the ocean with work colleagues and so we basically went after work directly to this place went in the sauna had some barbecue basically and it was also great but then when I dropped off one of my work colleagues and I went home and I came to this mess that happened on Thursday I was like oh man I really, really am happy that I am friends with that person and that they came here to see me, that they took one whole day to spend time with me. And I felt so grateful. This was the most time we have spent together. Like, I don't know, eight hours, nine hours. We've never spent so much time together. It's crazy. It's really, really crazy. So that is what I wanted to talk about in today's video. All that that has been going on in my head starting from first day. I already said to, to friends of mine, like to other friends, I have the car now, I have a job, I have work colleagues and I already have it like in the video description. I always say like socialize or like make friends. But like making friends is so difficult. So like it's always probably cooler like to bring the friends you already have to Sweden, but it's hard to convince and it's hard to, of course, for them also to let go of the things that are still there in Germany. But yeah, I'm just talking right now and it really, really helps me to talk to you guys about it. But yeah, so that is it for, for today. I hope you had a wonderful day and I really don't know what's coming next uh, on the YouTube channel. We will see. <laughs> But next week is going to be definitely more relaxing. There is nothing planned for now. I was actually also thinking now to cut this video in the car when I'm done. But I'm feeling so lazy and I actually don't know if I might even get sick. <laughs> but yeah, we will see. We will see. Okay, enough said now for real. See you in the next video. Bye bye.